Alright, g'day guys. Um, I'm here to show you how to replace a laptop screen. So if you've cracked it or it's broken or whatever, you can um, buy one on eBay much, much cheaper than t taking your laptop to the store to get fixed. Uh, I'm just pointing out again, just like my last video, I'm horribly ill. I seem to make videos when I'm sick. Anyway, so what you want to do first is look f around the screen for little plastic tabs like this one here, there's one on this side here uh, there's one down here and on the other side over here as well they're just uh, just like little stickers um, that are the same color as the laptop and what you're going to want to do is pop them off because behind them as you can see there that's a screw so we'll just take all of these off for you And the last one over here. Now there may be maybe a few more on your laptop, so just check, check and make sure. So then what you're gonna want to do is get your screwdriver and just undo these. And take out the screws. It's very simple to replace a laptop screen. There is not much to it. They just the big boys at the shops like to make you think that it's hard. Yeah. Alright, now there is some jimmying involved, and the jimmying is the fun bit. Then what you could do, get a flathead screwdriver or whatever. Put it in the side of the screen and just out like this. And there's um there's a lot of little tabs, and you'll hear lots of bad snapping noises. They're not actually bad snapping noises. They're just the tabs. Just come all the way up the side and get these tabs out. Almost there. The process should be the same for almost any laptop. I'm using an older laptop here though. It was the only one we had available at the moment. But the process is almost the same for every laptop. So then fold the laptop screen down because you've got to get the tabs off the bottom as well. And we're almost done already, actually. Alright, let's see. There we go. Take off the plastic front cover. Very easy. Then all we have is some more screws. Alright, what we need to do then. That's one screw. Second. Just drop the screw. Two. Oh. Three. And four. Let's just have a look. Yep. So now he's loose there. That's um, what you're going to want to do, though, is come down here. Now, your laptop might be a little bit different. It probably shouldn't be, but then there's this chip here, and on right in the middle, there's one screw. So if we take out that one screw, just carefully, be very gentle with this bit. They're um, they're a bit delicate. So then, if we fold it over. You see this little tab here, it's just an ordinary clip in here, I'm going to just jiggle that out, Let me get the screwdriver, there we go, so that's it there, take that bit off. 
Alright. There's one other. But now we lift the screen up. And if you look here, there's just one other little plug. Another easy one though. So you just slide him off. There's the screen. Completely off the laptop. Just pop it over here. And now if we look back down here, um, just make sure that all of these has been taken off. Make sure there's nothing behind the screen. I'll just grab the new screen. The uh, new screen. All I have to do clip in the we'll do the back first. That's gonna be easier. The back one. Same deal, but in reverse. Push it in, all clipped into place. Put the screen back down. Uh, there's a right and a wrong way to put this plug in, but luckily it doesn't let you put it in the wrong way. So just give it a shot. Yep, in he goes. Now we're going to screw this chip back down like it was when we found it. Yeah, pop him in there. With the the screws, just be careful not to be forceful at all. Just lightly tighten everything, not too hard. Pop the screws back in the screen. Enough t tension to uh, hold it in place firmly, but nothing too nothing too tight. Right, drop the screw again. Tighten it up. Last screw. <sighs> Plastic cover goes back on. Up top first, down the bottom. Just push firmly, make sure everything's clipped into place. And the last few screws, and we'll put plastic tabs back on. If I didn't lose them. One, two, Last go on the side. And three. Then all it is is a matter of putting those little plastic bits back on. They're just stickers. You just stick them on like anything really. Um, if they normally you can use them a few times, but if you wreck them or anything like that, then you can always um, buy some new ones off eBay again. Uh, and they're very, very cheap. So just stick it on, that's one. Uh, sticky side. That's two. And that's three. That's much, 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 much cheaper. So we might have to get a new one of these. This one's losing its stick. Um, and that's much cheaper. No, there we go. He's on. And that's much, much cheaper than having to get someone else to replace it for you.
So that's everything. Um, comment, questions, anything, uh, I'll be happy to re reply. So save yourself a couple hundred dollars and do it by yourself. And that's it.